Hello, Georgie Burns back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set hand penned petals and I'll be using that image. Also using butterfly wishes for the birthday wishes and I'm also using quiet meadow for the splatter dots as usual. These stripes have come from these. Now I have got one that measures three eighths of an inch and obviously you want it three by seven eighths, three and seven eighths. Mine are a bit longer and I should chop them off. I've got one that's two eighths of an inch and I have got three that are one eighth and we'll just stamp them down like a barcode. I have got here a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths folded, scored at four and one eighth folded and half and burnished. I have two pieces of Whisper White at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the inside and one for the outside. And I have some scrap white and black for the circles. To cut the circles I'll be using the layering circle dies and I think I used that one and that one. Yep. And then the Scalloped edge, I used that one, it must have been that one, and that one. That one goes on there. And that one goes on there, oh, that's it. Get them out. Right. Now I have already stamped and cut out the flowers, I haven't coloured them in, only because these won't cut out on my small machine, so I've stamped and cut them out and we've just got to colour them in. I do have to stamp um, birthday wishes, which we can do, and I didn't bring that ink, hang on. Forgot the black ink. Right, I need one of them. Don't need them yet. And I need that. Don't need that. And I need them to colour in. So, let's stamp the birthday wishes. Make sure it fits on there. fit on there which it does so might as well cut these out and we'll cut that one out as well while we're at it The wishes and the next layer up. Now we just need to cut some black scalloped edges. Oh, that's not going to go in there. Let's cut this down. Um, want to cut it that way, don't we? Like that. 
and there's our two scalloped edges. Get rid of all that. Now that one should go on there, it does. And then we put that one on and then we put that one on. And that'll be our circle. So glue them all together. Can never get these right first time. first time. That's our topper done. Right, our next step is to stamp the splatter dots on this piece of paper. And we're just doing that in black memento ink and we just splatter the dots all over the page like that. And we'll line that up with our grid paper because we're going to stick these on. And I'll just use the lines to make sure I've got it straight. So, glue these up and making sure it's straight and we're going to put this one as long as we get one straight I can use it as a guideline for others. I'm snipping the ends off because there's glue on the end. I don't want them to stick to my um, mat. Alright, now we want a small one. And we're just leaving a small space, just a little space, about an eighth of an inch. Do the same again above it. I'm just leaving a small gap. I mean, if you've got striped paper, you could put DSP along here but I thought I'd do my own design right and now I've got the two eighths of an inch I've just seen that moved Uh, 
that's it. And we'll do this underneath the big one. Again, trim the sides. And then for our last piece, that will go under there. And we go and leave a small gap. And then we have our barcode, I call it. <laughs> right, we'll put that to the side and bring in our flowers, which we are going to colour in. Now I have got granny apple green, um, light cherry copper, I think it is. Because my real red's gone dry, yeah, and daff dark daffodil delight. So, with the cherry cobbler, don't know if this works. Is the flat nib? And try and stay in the lines. Not doing nothing fancy with this, just colour it all in. you're all keeping safe and your weather is where you are a lot better than what it is here we've had nothing but rain downpouring all the time I could say we're lucky we live on a hill, so no flooding where we are, but some places, especially London, are flooding out. Right, and then we're going to do this one. Oh, one of our daughters has booked a holiday for next year to Morocco. She'll love that. Never been to Morocco, been to Tunisia, but never been to Morocco. I don't suppose it's much different from Tunisia. Right, that's that one. Now for this one. It's not going to 
I think it's February next year they're going. The cooler weather. Which makes sense for her because like her father, she's not allowed to be in the sun. Because of her lupus. done this before I started filming so that would have made the video this is quite wet let's just splash water on it I didn't think of doing the um, stamping on this, that's what I should have done. This one's running dry. I'm going to have to start replacing some pens because um, the nibs on the brush end are going. That's when you know it's time to replace. that one done. Back with the yellow, little daffodil delight, we're just colouring the centre of this flower. And then we're going to do the leaves. shouldn't take long because I can use the brush on this one. Just about one leaf left. Change the nib because we've got the stem. So miss this one. That is our colouring done. Right, 
of these we just place them oh no what we're going to do is cut off these leaves at the bottom we're not going to waste them we're going to stick them under this one like that And then that will go on top like that. So we need to stick these down. Right. These ones go down flat. under there and push it under there like that. Do the same on this one. And put that down. And then this obviously goes over there on dimensionals. with some oh well let's stick it on its card base nearly forgot to put some these candy dots I've got and I'm going to put a big one and a tiny one there a middle one there and a middle one here along with A tiny one. Right, and inside I shall just do my normal wishing you a wonderful day. mark on that and that side Put glue on my finger oh, not glue black ink on my finger it's all right we just rub it off
There they have it. One. Card done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I have uploaded. Which is usually Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.